Hi friends, hope you are enjoying our Pandas series of tutorials. So previously we have learned how to handle the missing data or the duplicate data. So and we have also seen how we will remove them from our uh, data frame. So now we will move how we will replace the existing strings with a new strings by just string matching or some partial matching and creating the patterns for uh, like regular using regular expression we will learn all about this we are in our collab platform so imported pandas now let me just paste the data dictionary first so this using this dictionary we are creating the, our data frame now let's just to check it uh, let's print the data frame and see the output here it is coming okay this is the output on this we'll apply our string replace we'll add one more code block here so code block let's move up here what you will do is we'll replace all the occurrence of max this, you can see here there is uh, here one max is there here also one max is there here so this will replace with one more string so we'll say df equal to because we are replacing creating a new data frame <coughs> df dot replace what we are replacing is max so this is uh, it will search for this word and replace with a let's say we'll say gym so this will what will happen now after this let's print the df again the output will get is you can see all oh, every here the gym is replaced here also it is replaced now let's replace a number so we'll add up one more code block here we'll say <coughs> uh, df equal to df dot replace say all 85 will make it 100 so whatever mark is there so first 85 then we'll say 100 so let's run the okay we'll print also let's run this and see how it replace you can see all here here it became 100 and 100 let's use a list of items and to replace so here what you will going to do is df equal to df replace here i am giving a list so whatever earlier we have replaced the same thing what we are going to do is john uh, replace uh, with it, this one search for this word and then 85 these two again replace with here i am giving gym and then i am giving 100 because like that i can extend this uh, this list also so now let me just run this once more so all other replacement will be there now fine now let's come here sorry print the df now you can see both uh, will be replaced you can see here it is gym has come and 100 also has come now similarly we can even use a dictionary also so let's see so we can say um, df equal to df dot replace now here i am saying inside that i am putting a dictionary here i am saying replace john with gym now second element of this uh, dictionary 85 replace with 100 so that's all now let's run this first one and come back here print the df now let's see what is the output the same output will get it because this two gets replaced and here also 100 you can see now we'll use a list of matching numbers with one value say i will say df equal to df dot replace now here i am giving a list of because to match the numeric first i am give telling 75 then uh, 85 and 60 also all this replace with 100 now here again print df now let me run the first one otherwise i could have uh, used now okay let's see just see this see fine you can see this is replay all are in this column yeah, sorry the mark column only except 55 all other because this 
matches with that so it is replaced now similarly let's go with a string replacement with a multiple such string but single uh, replacement string so for that we'll say df equal to df dot replace now here i am giving a dictionary i am specifying this time the columns so i am saying name column if it is john then another such it is i am saying uh, class one column if it is equal to four then all this you replace with single one that is let's say jim now this also i will put a let me recreate it fine now let's come back here i am running now you see the all the, even the class column wherever jim is there hey sorry whatever four was there before so those are replaced with jim and here also in the name column jim is placed wherever it is john will work on a specific column and replace the value so for here for that i will let me add it now i am in a column only so df i am saying class 1 in this column only i am working equal to df class 1 now here i am saying dot str now replace what i am replacing is uh, top 3 is there now okay let me just say replace 3 with 10 let's uh, find that's all now print df let's run this yeah all be here you can see the 10 it is there 10 to two places because earlier it was 3 was here the last also 3 was there that is here it is that is replaced with 10 let's use regular expression so let me go up and run this one so the original data frame is created again now here i am I will add the code block now regular expression is a powerful tool so various combination of pattern matching and replacement can be performed here but i'll just introduce you to that and in some other time we'll discuss more about regular expression and same thing we can enter we can implement it here also so let's uh, some simple replacement we'll try so you can extend it further df replace now i am saying regex equal to this is a, i'm <coughs> taking uh, saying that you it's a regular expression uh, replacement so what i am doing either the first letter is starts with a or f replace it with a star so for that i am saying uh, regular expression here the first is starts with so i have to say where is in my keyboard here it is so this is the starting character then a and f so this anything any one of this then if it is re, uh, appearing like this then you put a value equal to what you replace it with star so now then i will print my df sorry 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 let's run this see yeah you can see here here is one start because a it started with a then anywhere yeah four or wherever four is there because it starts with f so those are replaced now let's go for one more uh, 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 regular uh, expression replacement here what we are going to do is you just replace uh, whichever word starts with m and have two more card means totally it should have three so you can see here in the name column we have matching certain here it is one matching is there so let's just experiment it and then we'll see df equal to df data frame dot replace now here again i'm giving regex equal to here i am saying a dictionary because i can go for multiple also so r this is a string pattern i am saying r now h n sorry 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 not not this one i am giving for uh, starting with so i am putting it where is my yeah it should starts with m and 
two character then the word ends so this is the coming now like that there are sorry not this dollar symbol i have to use yeah this is the ending and this is starts with m have two characters after that and that's all the word it should not match anything else now like that there are many patterns you can match it so i am leaving you up to in some others uh, we'll discuss more detail about regular expressions same thing can be used also let's just run this uh something i missed here oh sorry what it should replace let's say i am saying replace with foo where i am missing yeah see here okay so see these are all because previously these were replaced here you see this is one is replaced okay we'll run the first one so we'll back to our original data frame now let's come back here put it here yeah you can see this is we'll try one more uh, matching so here i am just above code pasting again but this time i will go with uh, words ending with two matching characters so word beginning i will re remove and hn i am putting hn and it should end with this is the end of the word so i am telling any word end with hn replace it with foo that particular two characters so let's uh, run this actually i am targeting this so let's run this uh, you can see here was this this last two character hn was there that is replaced with foo that's all friends hope you have uh, enjoyed this tutorial and you, you can practice it for further improvements and if you have any doubts suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and i have a request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we frequently do that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching